Hello everyone, it's Farkid here. And in this video of 7 Days to Die, it'll be my first official video rather than a live stream. I'm going to show you a very good horde base that you can build almost straight away. Got to do the quests that I'm using the cheat menu. So I've got experience at max, and I'm going to show you a way I've learned to level up. And I don't know the console command to add experience, it's probably out there. But the faster you click when you're holding these things, you can read it multiple times if it's in a stack. So I've got an auto clicker. See my experience? As you can see, it's a pretty neat way of leveling up. If only they stayed in bigger stacks though. So if you've got an auto clicker, you're set. But if you don't, you just got to click as fast as you can. Due to their rarity, I don't think it's a very good way to level up though, if you're doing it properly. If you're wondering, the auto clicker is the same one I use for the forest when I'm swinging the bone to raise strength. What you're going to need is wedges, blocks, the wedge steep corner base, and the wedge steep corner top. Ah, uh, here looks good. The land's flat. Let's place a corner. And then you want to put this one in advanced mode or on face. I forget which one it is. Advanced mode. I like that. I'll go three. Oh, annoying zombies. Probably could do this now. She's just rotate them around to each corner. I'm oh, placing the blocks wrong already. So you're basically making a pyramid. Once that's done, you can start doing the next layer. Ah, forgot the wedge tip. Now I'm going to fill in the thing. You don't need to, but it's just going to make it easy to place things. It's easy to get stuck inside here. And that's pretty much it. They cannot get up it, and they won't attack it. So you don't even have to use very strong blocks. I'm going to try another one. We're going to make it a lot bigger. Four up. Feels a little easier working from the top down, I must say. You can also copy the rotation. I think that makes it easier too. Nothing more annoying when this happens, eh? Here we go. I'm going to try something Junkman showed me. One of my patrons. Okay, that works, but I need to be able to get in. There we go. And that can help keep the birds out. Seagulls. Vultures. I might try it with a spear. And that's where I should put my perks, eh? And it's just time to wait for Horde Night. Yeah, this is taking too long. Okay, it's about to start, but I can't see a bloody thing. Oh yeah, I set the zombie amount very high. Now they can start jumping on top of each other if there's this many. Good thing the spear's got a lot of range. These corners, you can walk up and down them very easily. They can't still. So if you go to this side and start doing it, you could end up sliding down. But if you go to the edges, you'll be much safer. But careful, there's eventually a range you'll get to that they'll be able to get you. Well, I had a phone call, and it pretty much started as soon as I started this, and it looks like I was able to stand here most of the night and not get hit at all. I don't think I did. 
And it's daytime. Oh, now they're starting to attack it. Or because I'm standing on the edge here. Oh, that stood the night. Didn't even test this one. But as you'd imagine, it would probably do the exact same thing. I think me going down on the edge here provoked them into attacking this. So I didn't do it the whole night. But this is uh, a good horde base if you want to keep it nice and quiet. Ranged attacks are probably going to hurt you though. So if you want to, you can come down the side here and hit them from a range. Spear's probably best for that. Axe also works well. Sledgehammer's range a little bit too short. I think so anyway. So yeah, that's how you do it. A uh, nice little easy board base. It was discovered by me and Frederick. By accident, actually. If you make a big base with a wall like this all the way around it, you might have to take out a chip off the top. Otherwise, they'll start attacking the wall. I'm not sure what exactly makes it tick, but it ticks. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.